Hello, this is Devin from WP Theming. In this video, we'll show you how to upload images to your posts and pages in WordPress. To start with, I picked a couple images from my Flickr account that I want to upload into a post. And so I'll log into my dashboard in WordPress and I'll open up my post page and select the post that I want to add the images to. And then I'll select the place in the post where I want the image to go. So perhaps at the beginning of this sentence here. And I'll click here on the upload insert button where it says add an image. And I'll select the file I want from my computer. So I'll put the radishes up and it should upload fairly quickly. And when it does, you can adjust the title that you want it to show. That's when someone hovers over it. Um, you can do alternate text. So if for some reason the image does not load um, or for screen readers, they can uh, read that text. You can include a caption if you want and a description. You can choose whether when someone clicks on it, they'll go see the full image, the large image, um, or if there won't be anything when they click on it. Or you could do your own URL here to another site perhaps if you're trying to link to something. Now I'm going to put none. And then you can pick the alignment, whether you want it to be left or right, or if you want no alignment. I'm going to put this image um, to the left of the text. And then here you can pick the size, and I think the medium size will work good for me. And I'll go ahead and insert that into the post. And right now in my post there isn't any um, photo. But when I click update over here and refresh the post, this image appears on the left side. Um, if you've inserted the image, I just switched into visual mode here. If you've inserted the image and decide perhaps you want it to be on the right side of the text rather than the left side, you can do that fairly simply. You just click on the image click on this little icon here and it pulls it back up and you can choose to realign it and click update and this will move you can also go back in and decide to add a caption and the caption gets added in. All themes are kind of different in how they display the captions. Um, if it's been well coded, uh, they've thought about that for the captions and it will move left to right. But if you have a custom coded theme or a not very good theme, it may not um, have all the options there in the display. So make sure to check that when you're looking at themes to use in your site. So we have a lot more options though with um, the images here, and I'll show you a few of those. If you want to upload more images, you just click on that icon again and select the other ones that you might want to add, and you can do multiple at a time. And I'll save the changes there. I can go back in and edit these all individually if I choose. I can also change the size that I want to display. So I'll insert this new size for my sunflower in there. And I've inserted this at the top. I can also change it if I want it to go somewhere else in the post. You should just be able to drag it to the new spot that you want. And it'll move down there.
you decide that you don't like the location or you want to delete a photo, you can simply click on it and press the delete button. It's not actually getting deleted from the post though. You can always add it back in because it's saved here in the gallery. So I can show this again. Decide maybe I want it to be a thumbnail image and have it aligned to the right. Insert it again. It'll go back in there. Now, if you have multiple photos that you want to display together, you can display a gallery. And the way that works is you go back in here and choose your gallery. And here we have the gallery settings. So you can choose how you want to order the images by, and I'll go ahead and do that random. And I can choose the number of columns that I want. So I'll go ahead and select two. And then you click insert gallery. And it will insert a gallery of the images into the post. If you up that, update that, and view the new post, you'll see that these all got put in um, rather nicely. You can also change that by clicking there again. And let's say we want them all displayed together. We can do four columns. Update the gallery. And if there's room, it will display four. If you don't have room um, in the post, it will only display as many as it can in the column. There's a few other changes that you can make too. You noticed when you were choosing to throw the images into the post, you had these three sizes, actually four sizes, the thumbnail, medium, large, and full size to choose from. You can alter those settings to have different widths and heights, and those are done in the media settings down here. And if you decided you wanted the thumbnail size to be a little larger, you just update that like so, click Save Changes. And now when you insert new images um, with thumbnail size, that will be the new width. If you had old images in there that were already sized the old width, they won't change um, unless you regenerate the thumbnails. And there's a, a plugin by Viper Bond to do that. So hope this answered your questions about how to work with images in WordPress. You can same functionality for both the posts and the pages um, when you're working with that. And good luck with your own images.